My name is Sabrina Romanov, and in this video, I'm going to show you my AI video generation pipeline for faceless motivational TikTok videos. Here's an example. Hook, are you living for yourself or others? Agitate, living for others is draining. Motivation, decide your path, own your choices, set your standards, define your success. Stop seeking approval, invest in yourself, raise your self-worth, reject negativity, prioritize your growth, embrace your journey, conclusion, live your truth, dominate your destiny, unleash your power, become unstoppable. It's still a little rough around the edges, but it's only been 24 hours since I started this project. Uh, and I'll show you how I do everything. The purpose of this pipeline is to create uh, faceless motivation videos for TikTok in a completely automated way using AI. Uh, so everything you're seeing from the script itself to the voiceover, uh, the subtitles, uh, the generated face image, and then animating it to talk, all of that has been done by AI. And I'll show you my pipeline. Obviously it's rough around the edges. There are a lot of things I want to improve. Uh, you can see in the script, it said things like hook, motivation, conclusion, like I should probably remove those things from the final video. I don't like how the captions look and they're like covering his eyes. You know, I should probably put them somewhere else in the video. But uh, again, this was all done within the past 24 hours. And so I really just wanted to see how quickly I could throw something together. And this is another video I was just running in the background that just hook, finished. Why are you still settling for less? Agitate. Settling leads to regret. Motivation. Demand more from yourself. Take ownership of your goals. Never compromise your... Yeah, this one's a little weirder because the face is actually just kind of twitching instead of the mouth moving. So I still think uh, this one was probably better, but I was just experimenting with some things here. Uh, and it's pretty cool. It only takes maybe five minutes to generate uh, each one of these 20 to 30 second uh, video clips. So let me show you how the pipeline works for creating these faceless videos. Uh, so the first step at a high level is we create a transcript for the video. And how that works is I pull you know random tweets and then creates a TikTok motivational script from that tweets, from the concept in that tweets. Uh, the uh, prompt I'm using to create that video script is actually pretty long because I want the script itself to be engaging. In this example, I'm creating faceless videos for dating coaching. Uh, another niche could be like motivation, motivation for women, that kind of thing. Eventually, I want to create like a couple of different faceless video channels just to experiment with AI video generation and see how they do. So like I said, the first step is, uh, let's say you're making motivational videos and you follow Tony Robbins on Twitter. So you'll take one of Tony Robbins tweets, just calling the X API, and then use this prompt into ChatGPT 4.0 to create a really nice motivational video script for TikTok. Then what we do is we create, uh, even before creating the video, we create the voiceover using Eleven Labs. And then we also create the captions uh, that will be put on the video and we sync the captions with the voiceover. Um, and then to generate the video, it's, it's actually a two-step process. First, we generate an image using stability, and then we use the uh, sad talker model to animate that image into the person talking. And then finally, we combine everything together, like the video, the voiceover, and the captions, and export the final file. Okay? Um, so I'm going to walk through these, you know, step by step. So the first step here is creating the transcript. And so this is a pretty long prompt because I couldn't find like very good prompts online that would actually write motivational video scripts that I thought were good. Like a lot of the prompts I tried were like terrible. Um, so just to show you how it works, that just for testing purposes, I've hard, hard coded this, but when I actually deploy the system, it would probably pull like a couple tweets a day from certain accounts. And those accounts will be in the niche for the faceless channel. So if you're doing motivation videos, probably follow, you know, a couple motivation oriented coaches on Twitter and then pull content from them just for the general idea. Like we don't want to copy it. We just want to take a concept and then expand on it. And that's also why my prompt is, is really, really long. Um, so here's a simple concept. Focusing on the gym and fixing your diet will make life 10 times better. Uh, I actually do believe this. Uh, the, initially, the tweet also said, upgrading your wardrobe, which I don't believe, so I removed that. <laughs> Given this tweet, it's fed in as an input into the prompt here using this XML tag for post. And then how the prompt works is basically the system message just tells uh, ChatGPT, it's 
you know, ChatGPT4. And then the prompt says, again, this niche for this faceless video channel is dating coaching. So you are the best dating coach in the world, blah, blah, blah. Your task is to write 30 second TikTok script based on the following concepts. A lot of this is around like how to structure the script. So it's really punchy for, for the TikTok audience. And then I feed in two sample scripts at the end. So a few shot learning. Um, the hook starts with like a bold, controversial question that evokes emotional pain. This is from a copywriting framework called PASS, P-A-S, Pain Agitate Solution. So there's a lot of here around the hook just because I have found it pretty hard to generate like really good hooks completely with AI. It's great for brainstorming different angles for your hook. For those of you not familiar with marketing speak, hook just means like the first sentence in your video or content because if that's not interesting, then like nobody's gonna read the rest or stay and watch the rest of your video. So that's why it's so important. And the second sentence is to kind of agitate on emotional pain that the hook mentioned. Again, from the copywriting framework, pass, pain, agitate, solution. And then the third step is kind of like that solution. So talk about uplifting things, very sentence structure and length, reduce perplexity, increase burstiness, like all of this stuff that um, if you've been playing around with ChatGPT for a long time and prompt engineering, you've probably seen a lot of this stuff. Each sentence, we try to build on the idea of the previous sentence, so it's not just a jumble of words together. Use techniques like repetition or rhetorical questions. And the conclusion is really to help viewers like feel pumped and motivated to transform their lives. And then the fifth step uh, is proofreading. So this is what I call a little bit of an agentic uh, design incorporated in the prompts. So we tell ChatGPT to go and double check the script for spelling grammatical errors, ensure that it uses active voice instead of passive voice. And then it is supposed to remove the section headers like hook agitate. Obviously it didn't do that for some reason, which is, which is weird. So that's a, a bug I'll probably look into. And then a little chain of thought, take a deep breath, work on this step by step. And then here I feed in, you know, two examples of the scripts. And this I'm using GPT-4.0 with a temperature of one because I do want maximum creativity here. One of the things that's missing from this prompt is like the specific perspective I want to take that I want my channel to have. Right now, a lot of this prompt is just focused on writing a decent script that's not like super terrible and super boring. Next more advanced step would be like, what is the message I want to convey with this faceless channel and imbuing that in the messaging here. But for now, the purpose of pulling in tweets, by the way, is to completely automate it. I thought about using ChatGPT as well to kind of brainstorm ideas, but I do feel like the content from tweets serves as a better starting point. Like it's usually more thought provoking, more controversial and bolder. Okay, so once we have the TikTok video script, the next step is to generate the voiceover with Eleven Labs. And for those of you not familiar with Eleven Labs, I'll pull it up here. So this is the primary website for Eleven Labs, and you can think of it as a generative voice AI platform where you can take text and convert it to speech with very natural sounding voices in lots of different languages and accents as well. So here's the voice library, for example. And you can search all kinds of different voices that you want, depending on you know, what you're looking for, kinds of different accents. You can listen to samples here. A lot of good stuff. And this is what I'm using for the voiceover. And many, many faceless video channels on YouTube and TikTok are using Eleven Labs. So once we create the voiceover, then the next step, we just upload it to S3, and then we generate subtitles. I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna keep this long-term because you can generate subtitles automatically in TikTok, for example, and it usually like looks a little, it looks better, it feels a little bit better because it's native to the platform, but I haven't decided on that. For, for this MVP, I decided to just generate subtitles to get a feel for how the final video would look. So the key part here is making sure we align the voiceover with the subtitle. So making sure the start time and end time for the subtitles matches the voiceover. Okay. And then the next step, once we've gotten like the voice and script part down, is actually generating the face image. So here I'm using Stability AI Stable Diffusion. Let me pull it up here. Yep, right here. And then the prompt I gave it is Stoic Rock Human Face Portrait Inspiring Heroic. So if we paste that over here, uh, let me just check the other parameters. Yeah, uh, so we're using Euler. 
Uh, I think negative. Yeah, we don't, again, we're, we're looking for motivational uplifting videos, so we don't want like a sad face. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's that's it to match the parameters we're using in the code base. Oh, wow, that's, that's a pretty good one. I like that. Cool. Um, so yeah, so we're using stability, AI stability diffusion here to basically generate a realistic human face, but like carved in rock, which I thought like might be a cool twist for the videos. Once we have uh, this face image, what we do is we grab the URL and then we generate the talking video using the sad talker model. So let me go to that here. So this is the sad talker model that basically takes an image of a human face and then like animates it like the person's talking. And I actually have tested this on other things. Before starting filming, I was wondering if I could do like a wolf face that looks like a human, uh, but it, it just kept throwing errors. Like it did not like that at all. It needs to really look like a human face in order for the sad talker model to be able to work. Now what I'm gonna do is let's try like a totally different prompt. It still needs to be a human face portrait. So I'm gonna keep that. But let's try like a pie, right? Let's not do a rock anymore. Let's do like a pirate human face portrait, um, like rebellious and super cool or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna run it here. And you can see in the logs, like each step it's taking. Uh, and also you can see it down here what the full pipeline is. First step is creating the transcripts, like I talked about, then generating the vo voiceover, like we talked about, then generating the subtitles, uploading it to S3, then generating the face image using stability, and then the last step, uh, which is what takes the longest, they can take uh, five minutes or so, is calling the sad talker model to generate the talking video from the face image. The very, very last step in the pipeline is composing everything together. So taking the video and then adding the subtitles and voiceover new video is done so let's see how our pirate looks <laughs> okay that is not what i was expecting how can you conquer fear today fear keeps you small Where did push yourself daily step out of your comfort zone <laughs> face your fears head on growth starts at the edge fear is a sign to push harder don't let fear steal your dreams face fear transform your life fear is temporary growth is forever oh man okay well <laughs> that was interesting I also don't know where the captions went. Um, so I'm, I'm very serious when I say I started this entire pipeline like less than 24 hours ago. <laughs> Definitely like a cool aesthetic. Uh, I just wish it, like it, he had a mouth. He doesn't really have a mouth. So I don't, I don't know how Sad Talker is going to animate him talking. He kind of just shows him jiggling, you know? Let me mute this so we can just look at the video. Yeah, so here I'm playing it. it. It's almost like he's a pirate flag and it's like jiggling in the wind or like waving in the wind or something. Yeah, let's go back to this. Okay, so the pirate was not super great. Let's try one more. I am just curious because because I haven't done a woman before. So I want to do like a royal queen, like a royal British queen, human face portrait, um, like regal and oh okay elegant thank you co-pilots let's go ahead and run that okay all right the video's done let's check it out okay that looks like a british queen i'll take it what's holding you back from greatness <laughs> oh, excuses breed mediocrity stop waiting for the right moment take action now fear is temporary regret is forever Face challenges head on. Growth happens beyond comfort. Own your failures. Learn from them. Only you can change your destiny. Why settle for average? Be relentless. Demand more from yourself. Don't just exist. Thrive. Make today the turning point. Okay, I forgot to change the voiceover, obviously. Other than that, it's, I thought it was actually pretty good. Like, if you look What's at What's holding her, like, you back moving? from greatness? Excuses breed mediocrity. Stop okay. waiting for the right moment. Take action yeah. now. Fear is like, temporary. Look at her lips. Regret is forever. Face challenges head on. Growth happens beyond comfort. Own your failures. Learn from them. Own okay, I can't keep watching because like the voice is so not matching the image. 
But it, I thought this one was actually pretty good, surprisingly good. That's the first one I've tried uh, of a women portrait, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, the script itself didn't have the section headers like hook, agitation, motivation. And again, that's the probabilistic nature of LLMs. Even though in my prompt, I tell it to remove these section headers, sometimes it doesn't. And so I'll probably have a little uh, Python function to remove things like that from, from the script. Because I still do want it to structure the script in a very specific way with hook, agitation, followed by X, Y, Z. But I just don't want those keywords in the script uh, in the final output. Hope this was cool to see. Again, this is a fully automated AI pipeline for generating faceless videos. Uh, niches that I'm looking at initially to experiment with will be probably like motivation, relationship coaching, that kind of thing. Uh, and again, just to recap the steps in the pipeline, first we create that transcript and that's the really long ChatGPT prompts in the beginning that I showed you that takes like a kernel of an idea, which you can get from anywhere, uh, Twitter, Reddit, like what, whatever, wherever you source ideas, or you can have ChatGPT brainstorm them. Once we have that transcript, we generate a voiceover with 11 labs, and then we generate subtitles and make sure the subtitles uh, are synced in time with the voiceover. And then we generate the face image using Stability AI. Uh, and I typically need it to generate like a human face portrait. I've actually tried with other things, for example, like I tried with this like wolf face that, that it generated, but then the sad talker model, which is used to generate the talking video, it re basically rejects it and fails and it just can't, it just can't animate it, unfortunately. So sometimes I actually get errors at this step because the image that we inputted to create the talking video uh, is not jiving well with the sad talker model. Very last step is composing everything together. So once we have the talking video from the sad talker model, then we put the voiceover and subtitles as layers on top, and then that's our final video. And then we I write it out to, in my case, just my local temp directory. So yeah, I showed you, I think, four different videos. The very first one was the one on the left, which I thought was pretty good. Let me play them all without sound, actually. That'll be fun. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why the captions didn't generate for the other ones, so that's that's probably a bug in my pipeline. Just in terms of realism, like I think this, the first one and the last one are more realistic. I just really wanted to do kind of like a rock face just because I thought it'd be, it'd be unique compared to um, some of the other faceless channels I've seen that use just kind of like a normal face avatar to do the talking. Um, this one was interesting too. I didn't expect this pirate one, which kind of looks like a pirate flag blowing in the wind or something, but yeah, not great for the sad talker model because it, it doesn't even have like a mouth with lips that can be animated. So, um, but yeah, I'm Sabrina Romanov. Hope you enjoyed this video showcasing my pipeline for faceless video channel generation. I've been working on this like literally less than 24 hours. And so I still have a lot of things that I want to do to improve uh, like the quality of the scripts. It's this bug where captions are not appearing sometimes. We talked about adding like a separate Python function just in case the uh, script headers come out in the script and we don't want it to. We don't want it to say like hook and conclusion and probably keep iterating uh, or just playing around with like different prompts for the face generation and to a point where I like what it's consistently generating. Final step is actually I'm just going to create a TikTok channel and post these motivational videos really just as an experiment to see how well it does. If you like this video, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. My name's Sabrina Romanov.